Hi hey Indonesia, this is Harvey. Check out my new interview on creativedisc.com, the number one music website in Indonesia. Hello CD lovers, Adunde Yuwono is here again with another Creative Disc exclusive interview. Today, I'm about to catch up a little bit with musician from England. Last time we met was last year and he's doing a show in Indonesia and spent only one day here. So. Let's catching up with Harvey Lee Cantwell, a.k.a. Harvey. Hello, beautiful human. How are you? Wow. A beautiful human. I like that. How are you? You're also a beautiful human. You look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Harvey, what are you doing these days? What am I doing? Um, well, I've recently moved into my first house, which is really cool. Wow. So I'm living in my house. Yeah. Finished, right? What's that? It's finished. Your whole is finished, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's finished. It's pretty much done. Wait, I'll see if I can... Like, right there you, go, you can kind of see. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's... Yeah, it's cool. That's it's really cool. cool. So... Very lucky. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then? But, I've been doing... I've been chilling at home, releasing new music, um, releasing uh, music videos, you know, in the studio more. So yeah, it's really cool. Wow. Wow. You keep, you keep yourself busy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to over lockdown. It was really hard to keep right. myself busy, um, yeah, but we've just, we've just come out of lockdown. Now. We're, we're kind of like coming out of it, you know, no more face masks. Um, mm -hmm. So life is good. Life's okay. Yeah. I, I hope that um, uh, Indonesia can catch up with that as well, because in Indonesia, we still require to wear masks anywhere uh, that we went. Yeah. How how is Indonesia? Is everything okay? Well, it's every everything is fine, but we are in the middle of lockdown part um, two, I guess. So, yeah, I hope it's it will get a, uh, get better soon because we already like um what is it like spread the vaccine already? Yeah, 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 vaccine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So well, hopefully, when everything all done, I can come over. I'll come back sure sure so like, like i said uh last time we met was in february 2020 you doing a show in indonesia like since then until now yeah. there's tons of things happen to you you're become a runner-up in strictly come dancing done a collaboration with we have also matoma which i love so much the the single your house Thanks. your house is also yeah. finished already and bunch of tiktok yeah. videos man How's the journey from your point of view, though? It's been it's been good. It's been very kind of disconnected, you know. Mm. Um, it didn't all, all kind of just happen in one go. It was right. kind of like, you know, I released a single and then kind of nothing during lockdown. And then I released another song with like Rehab or with Matoma and then nothing. Yeah. And then I did the Strictly, you know, the Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. And that was like a big whirlwind of an experience. And it was really right. fun. And then that stopped and then there was nothing you couldn't do anything so it was very kind of disconnected so when you when you say it out loud it sounds really like i did so much and i did yeah. do a lot but okay. over the space of a year mm -hmm. you know over the space of a year and a bit it mm -hmm. felt really kind of like stop and go stop and go mm -hmm. um but it was so much fun i love doing strictly i love obviously releasing the singles with matoma mm -hmm. and rehab um so yeah, it's been really cool. And then I got to build my house during this whole kind of like pandemic. So yes. that was kind of lucky. It meant my mind was always thinking about the house. And mm -hmm. I, you know, so I wasn't always bored. I was always buying furniture Ooh. and picking out paint colors for the walls. Wow. Yeah. So it was fun. Yeah, I was, I was very lucky to be doing this during lockdown. Um, but I'm glad that I can now release music outside of a lockdown, you know, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, and kind of do all kind of fun stuff do kind of interviews and talk to you guys and yeah it's good to be back to normal but this last year it's been good it's been it's been an emotional roller coaster let's say that true 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 so harvey that i know it's become a real adult now because you're doing some what is it like choosing the painting from your house i mean like wow that's that's great man yeah i'm i'm, I'm growing up man i'm becoming a man i i cook my own food now and i'm doing the i'm doing my clothes washing and yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> congrats, congrats. So, by the way, Harvey, you've been in, uh, to Indonesia two times now, right? 
although it was for only a show and not for a leisure time, I believe. What is the thing though that you can forget about the in, be, being in Indonesia? Being in Indonesia, it's actually it was the fans. That was that was the most incredible thing. The yeah. when people ask me where's like my favorite place to go in the world to to kind of like to do shows mm -hmm. and to meet fans. A lot of the time, and I'm not just saying this, I say Indonesia because it's kind of, it's actually my most popular uh, kind of, uh, my most popular listeners on Spotify, yes. actually. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so like Indonesia is like the biggest place for my music, which is crazy because it's like the other side of the world, right? Right. So that's that, that, that's what I never forget. I never forget how, how many fans there are and how many nice people there are in Indonesia. And I'll also never forget how hot it is. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> Indonesia when I've been there. Oh my god. Yeah, very hot, but very, very good. Right, right. I remember that you always wear your t-shirt whenever you go because we have, I know that Indonesia is really hot when it comes to like summertime. I don't uh, I'm I'm not sure that you can handle it, but you can handle it very well. Also when you meet uh, your fans, Thank you. you handle it so well, man. So let's talk about your music. You release one day two nights yes. in 2021. Congratulations on that. I really yeah. dig into this Thank new you, era of yours. So tell me about this Thank new era you, of Harvey. Thank so this new era of Harvey, um, it's a bit more grown up, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, during lockdown, I, uh, I had a lot of time to kind of think about what my sound wanted to be. And yeah. originally when I was in the studio, this song, One Day, Two Nights, was supposed to be a slow kind of ballad song. Oh, and okay. I came out with like I came out with like the most dancey clubby song I've ever come out with. So it was an accident, but it was a good accident because it's summer in the UK right now. You know, right. hopefully a lot of places in, around the world are starting to open up again. Mm -hmm. The clubs are going to open, the bars, you know, parties, people go to parties. Mm -hmm. So it's the perfect song for kind of like just kind of like I don't know, making memories, like dancing, being happy. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a new era. I've got a load more songs. That I've got ready to be released. Dancey songs, some are kind of ballads, mm -hmm. some are chilled out, cool songs. Mm -hmm. So it's all there. It's all there, ready to go. Um, and I, yeah, I'm just I want to release music now throughout the rest of the year. Hopefully, there's no more lockdowns, mm -hmm. and eventually I'll be able to travel and come back to Indonesia. Please come and please release more songs because we need that. I mean, like the song. I'm a uh, song is the type of thing that we can cope during this pandemic that uh, we can what is it like say that it's a friend of mine because we got yeah. so lonely when it comes to lockdown right and the music sounds yeah. like a good deal when it comes to um, push away your boredom yeah. right definitely it definitely it's a song that you can kind of like forget about everything and kind of dance to and I don't know it's, it, it's cool it's cool yeah. I, I like it so all right all right so Let's talk about one day, two nights. I'm, uh, I'm gonna ha have to ask this. It's, it's kind of random question though. In the song, you feel it, put a lyric like "I just wanna be dumb, da da dumb all night." From your point of view, what is the meaning of those uh, dumb da da dumb? <laughs> um, the, well, I mean, it can be interpreted <laughs> in different ways, right? Andy. Um, <laughs> I mean, it could be dancing, dumb da da dumb. It right. could be something else. I mean, you, I mean, you're probably on the same wavelength as I am, you know. So it's up, it's up to the listener, whatever they want, whatever they want to think it is. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so you told me that after this, you're gonna come with bunch of new songs, and um, yeah. fans have to be prepared for the new era of Harvey. But here's the question that probably like um, most of your fans are asking. Um, What is the most interesting thing that you could describe in this new era? I mean, like you already like uh, tell us about the, this new era, more dancey and more like uh, there's some acoustics uh, going on, right? But what is the most interesting thing that yeah. gonna happen in this new era? Are you gonna like surfing um, continuous music video for some reason or 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 what? What's interesting? Okay, one of the most interesting things is. I think I, I think I swear in, a, in one of the, a couple of the songs, but it's kind of cool. It's like I'm, I'm a bit older now, you know. So I think mm -hmm. I say like, yeah. So a couple, couple of swear words, I suppose, cool. Oh, um, all right. I feel feel like the most 
I feel like the, the most, the coolest thing about this new era actually mm-hmm. um, is, I think I'm just talking about stuff that's actually more personal to me, I suppose. Cool. The songs are a bit more personal to me in this new era. Mm-hmm. It's not just kind of like, let's write a random song. Right. You know, every every song has a story behind it. Even One Day, to Two Nights. Mm-hmm. And they're all real stories, you know? So that's it's more interesting. It's more personal. And it's not just, let's just write the most catchy song we can and then move mm-hmm. on, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can wait for that. And I believe that your fans here also cannot wait to embrace this new era, experiencing this new era of Harvey, right? So my last two, two questions, Harvey, for you. Um... This is the question that I already asked to a bunch of musicians to know what's their, per- what, what's their perfect, perfect perspective for this. What is music from your point of view? I think music is it's like the universal language. I feel like it doesn't matter if you're from you know Indonesia or you're from Australia or you're from, I don't know, Japan. If you're from different speaking languages, right. when you play a song, you can't help but dance to it or sing along to it. Right. Um, so I feel like music is something that unites everybody, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what language it's in. You can still feel something from any type of music. Um, mm. So yeah, it's, it's, I feel like music's universal language. Cool, universal language. That's that's a great description of music because I do believe that people can connect. Weirdly enough, through music, yeah. right? Although they didn't say the same language as you. Exactly. Cool. Okay, last question. Any message to your Indonesian fan who longing to have you here in Indonesia soon? I just want to say to all my Indonesian fans, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being so supportive. Um, and I'm hoping that I can come back real soon. Um, but yeah, stay safe. And yeah, I'll be back soon. Cool. Harvey, thank you so much for your time. It's been a great pleasure of mine to catching up with you and I can't wait to have you in Indonesia again. I'll, I'll be back soon, Dandy. Don't worry. Thank you, buddy.